Many women struggle with being secure and attempt to find their security in worldly things such as in their external appearance, finances, job, family, or relationships. And we chase after things that don't bring true security. So what is true security and where does it come from? How can we be eternally and joyfully secure? Well, stay tuned to find out. Hi, it's Jen and Alisa. We hope you're having a fabulous day and we're back with another video in our True Beauty series. So far in this series, we've talked about how God is beautiful and is the source of all beauty. If we would like to have inner beauty, something that is true and that really lasts, we need to reflect or imitate God and His Son, Jesus Christ. If our hearts truly love the Lord, we will want to obey Him. And when we walk according to God's plan for Christians, we can be truly beautiful to have a beauty that will never fade. It's our heart attitudes that make us truly attractive. We've been looking at what the Bible says about beauty and focusing on what that means for women. And today, we're going to talk about where a beautiful woman finds her security. How is she avoiding all the worry lines on her face and more importantly, in her heart? How is she able to feel secure? How is she able to be gentle and quiet, that DQS? How is she able to have a gracious and truthful speech? How is she able to be loving, kind, submissive? It's partly due to the fact that she trusts in the Lord and she has confidence that He will fulfill His promises to her. Not only can a beautiful woman find her security in God's promises, but she can also find security in God's character. God doesn't change. And a fancy word for that is immutability. Hmm. God is immutable. No one can change him and he himself can never change in essence. That's right. God created time and therefore is outside of time. And he knows how this heaven and earth are going to end. There are verses throughout the Bible talking about how he doesn't change. The immutability of God is highlighted in passages such as Psalm 102, 25 to 27, which says, Of old you founded the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. Even they will perish, but you endure, and all of them will wear out like a garment. Like clothing, you will change them, and they will be changed. But you are the same, and your years will not come to an end. And also in Malachi 3, 6, it says it very straightforwardly. For I, the Lord, do not change. Very clear. Those verses are really comforting and bring us much security because these verses display the simple truth that God is the same and has always been the same before even natural creation itself was created. And long after it will fade away, God is still the same. Consider how long ago the earth was created by God's hands. And that same God who created the world reigns to this very day. We've only lived for a range of probably decades, and I'm sure we can all say that we are miles different from who we were even 10 years ago, five years ago, two years ago. Yet God in 2500 BC, God in the Middle Ages, and God today, He's the same, and He has not and will not change. He is secure because He is a solid certainty. So what does this have to do with us, and what does it have to do with true beauty? Girl, those are great questions. God's promises and His immutability are the basis for a beautiful woman's security. Also, since God is the source of beauty and He doesn't change, the standards for true beauty don't change either. So that's really amazing to think about. We can be secure in God because of His character. And a beautiful woman finds her security in God rather than worldly things that are fleeting and changing all the time. Another fantastic truth is that Christ supplies security in His sacrifice for us on the cross. The security we can find in Christ is because of the personal sacrifice Christ made so that Christians can be saved. Christ's accomplishment on the cross far surpasses any confidence that we could have in our own accomplishments. This is just really unfathomable to think about. It's amazing. Friends, here is the irony of our worth and our unworthiness. Our unworthiness of Christ's sacrifice isn't mitigated by great achievements and success or by meeting our goals. 
we have new found worth only when we place our trust in Christ and His redemptive work. That's the only thing that gives us worth and secures our worth. We know we haven't done anything to achieve it, so what makes us think we can do anything to add to it? This security can't be lost, and it can't be added to because it's complete. And so, it's secure forever. Super true, Elisa. And guess what? Christ did not just stop after his sacrifice. He didn't just call it quits after he resurrected. When he ascended, he didn't kick back and throw in the towel. Yes, his work on the cross for our salvation is finished and he rose again. However, he's not done with us. So what is he doing now after he has already brought our security with his sacrifice? We found it in verses like Hebrews 7.25. I've got that right here. Hebrews 7, 25 says, Therefore he is able also to save forever those who draw near to God through him, since he always lives to make intercession for them. In other words, he is intervening on our behalf. As a great high priest, he acts as the bridge between us and God. He is active and his intercession guarantees our security because by him interceding for us, we have access to the source of our security, who is the immutable God. Yes, you see friends, Christ is mediating for us. Be careful not to forget and ignore his intercession. If you're disregarding that bridge, then you're cutting off your access. It's important to note that you don't access God because you individually just try hard. You access God through the intercession of Christ. The intercession of Christ plus the sacrifice he made on the cross so that we, without any merit of our own, could be saved adds more and more comfort of security that we have as the daughters of God. Whoa, what great truths to think about. Sisters, are you secure in your beauty? Consider the definition of true beauty once again. Imitating the likeness of Christ in your character. Your confidence, identity, beauty, and security must be based upon God's unchanging character and his unchanging promises, nothing else. Exactly, Elisa. And also, please consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel to continue to learn more about living biblically or to quickly find more videos on true beauty. This is actually the last video of this series for now, but we've got tons of good content for you on our channel. So remember, you're only beautiful when the source of beauty outshines you. Then does your security highlight the source of beauty, God? Or instead, does it highlight yourself, the recipient of true beauty? That's a really convicting question to ask yourself. Think about when you go to work, serve in church ministry, hang out with people, do homework, or take care of your house, take care of your family. Whatever it might be, challenge yourself to start whatever you're doing by reflecting on how you can make it obvious that it is for the Lord. This could mean sharing what you're learning with others, or when you do your homework, Think about your course material and how does it relate back to God the Creator? Or looking at your health as a blessing to take care of. Or remembering that your job is a gift that you're meant to steward and to not complain. Be the beautiful woman content and secure in the Lord, not finding your identity in things and tasks, but really secure in God. A beautiful woman finds her security in God. He is the source of the kind of beauty she wants. True beauty, inner beauty, beauty that lasts forever. Remember this, when you're feeling insecure, when you feel like you're chasing things that don't satisfy or last, God provides security for his daughters and we can rest in him and reflect his beauty to other women who are desperately and vainly searching for security in the world. We hope that this was helpful for you all and we can't wait to see you in our next video. But until then, stay, stay captivated. captivated. Guess what guys, we are starting a new series on contentment. Just a reminder to subscribe so you can get updates on our next series rolling out.